we're going over to the left hand abutment which is now directly behind me and from that point you'll be able to see and I'll be able to tell you about all the major construction activities. But before I go too much further, I should introduce myself. I'm Ian Carmody. I'm the director of a thing called Water Security Operations and the Enlarged Cotter Dam, the Tang Tangra Transfer Project and the Murrumbidgee to Google Project are all part of the water security program of major projects that actually was undertaken. The idea behind today is basically to um, show the community what we're doing on this project, why we're doing it and um, the progress we've made so far. It's been about 15 months through um, the project so a lot of people are interested in what we're doing so it's a bit of community education as well as a show and tell really. And we'll spend quite a lot of time here looking and pointing and, and, and chance to see and ask questions and we'll go through the, the entire project from this vantage point. The design has looked at the arch dam, the conventional concrete arch dam, like a Hoover dam, or Bendora dam we're talking about, it's like that. They looked at an arch RCC dam, and they looked at this one, and this was the best design for this particular position. The site where you view the, the dam work progress is really well laid out. Uh, well, I guess it's just a dam. You don't see many dams being built in Australia these days, so it's a great opportunity. We, we were interested in the solution, as most states have gone to desalination plants, and we were interested that this was a, the ACT solution. We've got the dam that's going to be in this valley, which we'll get to talk to a lot about a lot in a minute. Then we've got two saddle dams. We've got one just behind that big white shed, to the left of it, you can see a truck. I was mainly interested in how they were getting the concrete from up at the batch plant down and, and filling up the dam down there. It's a very different concrete process to the standard process. And uh, yeah, huge site. Just you can just sort of imagine how much water is going to be in that in that dam compared to the other one, 78 gigalitres or something compared to four gigalitres. So yeah, really interesting. Well, I've been following it on YouTube and listening to your pleasant voice and. Uh, I've got a good feeling to what to expect, but even to actually come along and see it in in the flesh, so to speak, is, uh, is is massive. It's huge. So all the all the assets of construction have either been leased or will be sold afterwards, and that will be used to keep the budget under control. You're happy to see a new dam? Yes. Yes. Yes, given where it is. Given where it is. Well, there was already a dam there, so what better place to build another one? Just bigger. <laughs> Same river. We're going to go up and have a look at the, uh, uh, the quarry area and um, go up and have a look at the batch plant, the RCC batch plant area. And uh, then we'll come back down to the car park. The new dam is going to be pretty much the same height as our RCC batch plant just over there. It's a bit lower, but around that height. And it'll hold about 78 gigalitres. So the quarry was strategically, or we made the conscious decision to position the quarry here so that it'll be flooded um, at the end of the day to, uh, to try and minimise the impact on the landscape. You basically just jetted in, is that right? Yeah, I came in yesterday morning from um, uh, Connecticut, yeah. con in the States. Yeah, it's a good tour, a really good tour. Very informative engineer too, the guy that was helping us out. Well, my daughter had seen that the dam was going to be opened up today and she wanted me to come see it. So we've come to, it was family outing, come to see the dam. Here is a, uh, is a moxie. Uh, coming up the hill at the moment. Uh, Mox is an uh, articulated dump truck, um, meaning that they, uh, they steer in the middle, so they bend in the middle. A lot, a lot of effort to, just to get to where they are now, especially with the delays from all the rain they had over Christmas time. But yeah, oh, hu hu huge amount of effort up there. And uh, oh, it looks like they're really gunning along to be ready by next year. I grew up uh, in an area that we did a lot of things with the river. I, right now I live near the ocean, but when I grew up, everything was by the river. 
We used to ride our bikes up to the dam and watch them open up the floodgates and things like that. This local swimming hole, the playground. So I'm very impressed with this, I really am. I was interested because I worked at the Bendora Dam. That's going back uh, 54 years ago. We're interested in um, what the dam will mean to the ecology of the area too. Uh, we've been in Canberra over 40 years and we've watched all sorts of developments like the big freeways they've put through various parts of the city and we're just interested to see what this big wall, this wall will mean to the district and how it will affect the outlook of the place. Well once again thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.